I'm in Dallas at the NEC Analyst event, and with me is Larry Levenberg. And Larry, you've been talking a lot about the smart enterprise. What does that mean? Yeah, so what smart enterprise really means, it's taking the breadth of NEC's products and solutions and then bringing them into the enterprise market space. NEC has a unique advantage. We not only have a core of UC and what we've been doing here the last 50 years in the US, which is mainly UC, we're now bringing our, a lot of our IT products and some other advanced applications into the enterprise space. And so bringing all those technologies together is what we call smart enterprise, which absolutely helps the enterprise in today's environment. Very, very complex uh, needs, there's very complex problems that we need to solve, and those are sometimes done from an IT perspective as well as a UC perspective. So uh, what are some of the technologies that you're bringing together? So in the IT stack, we've got a full line of general purpose servers, as well as we've got some very specific um, application-oriented servers called fault-tolerant servers, which are very specific and unique to the market space. We also have a full line of storage products, our m storage, storage, which is for general purpose storage products, but also a very high-end product called our uh, NEC Hydra Store, uh, which goes to scales to very, very large applications. We also are bringing into the mix, the SDN. NEC has been a leader in SDN for over, uh, well, it's been about 10 years now. We actually started SDN in the open flow protocol with Stanford University, um, and we did that together with Stanford, and now we're bringing that into the enterprise market as well. What about UC and voice? Where does that play? Oh, UC is our foundation, and uh, we'll never get away from that being our foundation. It's really what our customers live and breathe off of is that voice and that UC uh, environment. But now all these other applications and, and solutions come around it. Can you give us an example of a customer, and you don't have to name names, but sure. what are people doing in terms of smart enterprise? Yeah, so we it's, it's interesting because what we're finding is a lot of customers no longer or, or do now want to put all of their applications into their data center. And so with the smart enterprise approach and the fault tolerant server that I referenced earlier, we can now put the soft, fault tolerant server in their data center, we can load the UC and applications on it, we can load other critical applications onto it, and all of it's con, uh, put into that one FT server server and a four rack space. So we've condensed a lot of the physical uh, space requirements and got into the data center where now we can better communicate with other critical applications the customer may have. Okay, and uh, what's the next step for the smart enterprise? Yeah, interesting, uh, as we bring on, uh, you know, we brought in the data products into the mix, but the next step this year is bringing in biometrics. We are a leader in biometrics technology, and we've been a leader for 40 years into this space, mainly, though, in the law enforcement environment. Now we're seeing that, that why not take that software that's very capable in the, in the uh, law enforcement environment, bring it down to the enterprise, and I'll give you a, a good example of an application that was just recently uncovered, uh, Reuse case, I should say, a, one, a bank that we have been doing business with from a UC perspective. We went out, we introduced biometrics, facial recognition, and they immediately came up with a use case for looking at a blacklist of folks that have been writing bad checks. And they used that application to drive the POC. So we now have a, a POC in t inside of that bank that is now driving that behavior. That's just one small example of what we can do in the enterprise space with our biometrics technology. Um, it's very exciting, and that's a big part of what we're going to be doing. Uh, uh, this year and then going forward. Very exciting and scary yeah. in a bit. <laughs> in a bit. There are some privacy issues and you always have to deal with that, um, but it's really, um, you know, you have to decide as an opt-in or, or opt-out, but uh, definitely some privacy issues do come into play. Okay, well, thank you so much, Larry. Right. Thank you.